Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujit Blitz and today we're looking at the M36 Jackson, the American Tier 6 Tank Destroyer. This is a subscriber requested video and the only question I need to ask is, dude, where's my armour? This was a real tank. There is a picture of one there and it's based on the M10 hull. But what's it like in the game? Wow, that's what it looks like. It looks, well, like a tank. It's pretty funky, it's pretty solid looking, but don't let looks deceive you. Looking at the stats, well, damage, not that great. Rate of fire, not that great. Penetration, not too bad. Armour, dude, what armour? There's no armour. Speed, eh, pretty average, 30 kilometres an hour. And the rotation, well, that's not too bad either, although the turret does traverse rather slowly. So when we look at the more detailed stats, it's got 850 hit points. You can see there that the armor is pretty paper thin. I mean, there's nothing really. The view range, 266 meters, not too bad. The camo profile is just above average. DPM, well, you're gonna get 2,393 out of this thing with a reload time of just over five and a half seconds. Penetration, not too bad, 160 on your AP, 243 on your APCR, and 45 on your HE. Although I don't know why I bother telling you that part. <laughs> it's just the way it happens. Average damage, you're going to knock out 225 on your AP, 190 on your APCR, and about 270 on your HE. Aim time is just over three and a half seconds. Thing is, this is a middle of the road tank in tier six. It is not the best TD, and it's not the worst TD. I particularly don't like this tank. Anyway, let's get back to it. Gun depression, wow, you got a whacking 10 degrees, which is actually not too bad. Speed wise, well, top speed of 42 going forwards, 11 going backwards with an average of 30. And the rest is pretty normal stuff. So what is it I don't like about this tank? Well, this. It's got no armour. It really has no armour. It is paper thin. I mean, every man and his dog, tier 6 and tier 7, is going to pen you. Okay, so some of the tier 5s may not. But it's still pretty thin. I mean, you've only got 76 millimeters on the turret. That's nothing, guys. You can see you can't side scrape in it realistically. You can go haul down, but you've got to go haul down and turn it. Okay, the 10 degrees does help, but it, it's not a great tank armor wise. You need to stick this thing a long way away from the danger. The gun, however, is pretty nice. I mean, the accuracy is okay. Okay, it's not laser beam accuracy. But it's okay and it dishes out a reasonable amount of damage i mean 220 on its normal ap is quite good now the thing is when it comes to equipment i actually don't bother even running calibrated shells on this thing because the penetration values are quite good as they are and so is the aim time so i generally run the gunorama instead of the calibrated shells, the supercharge instead of the enhanced gun laying device, and the refined gun instead of the vertical stabilizer. Because as I said, you generally find that the penetration values in the aim time are quite effective. So you don't really need to load those calibrated shells. What you want in this thing is more DPM, not better penetration, because the penetration's okay. The tank itself, like I said, whilst the gun is pretty nice and rather accurate, the profile of the tank and its armour really does let it down. It makes it a very tricky tank to play indeed. It's not your standard typical TD. Okay, the camo profile is quite nice. You could, in theory, although I've never tried it, run this thing with a camo net and scamp it the back. I generally play it more like a second line medium. I keep it out of harm's way, I have cover nearby, and I use that gun to the maximum effect. The mobility on this thing is quite good. And like I say in most of my videos, you have to understand why certain tanks are given certain attributes. This tank has no armor. The reason it has no armor is because it's got better mobility. So this tank is not meant to be sat at the back farming damage. What it's meant to do is be like a sniper. You're meant to stick it into some good cover far away from the danger, take a pop shot, and then relocate. And this is what you can do in this thing. 
when you've got such a good reload and such a nice amount of damage being churned out, you'd be daft just to sit at the back and wait for them to come to you. However, you'd be even dafter if you decided to frontline this thing because you are going to get punished. This is not a tank that a minor mistake you can get away with because everybody can pen you. The chances of you um, bouncing a shot in this thing are very remote and then it's, it's not likely to happen. But you can do nice damage in it. I mean, you can see in that game there, we did just uh, just under 2,000 damage, which is nice. Okay, we only get a second class. Now, I tried really, really hard to get a mastery in this thing uh, before I reviewed it, and I just couldn't do it. And I even asked all the people on my Discord server <laughs> and, and in my clan, and I asked almost everybody that I could think of if they had a decent replay in this thing. And you know what? Hardly anybody had one. Nobody came to forward and said, yes, we've got an ace in this tank. Because it's such a tricky tank to get a mastery in. And it's tricky because that armor is so, so vulnerable. But look at this gun. I mean, the gun is just beautiful. And that is what you need to remember in this thing. You've, you've got to play it like this second line medium tank and you cause a lot of damage now I, i'm in a bit of a jam here i mean there's virtually the, the entire red team over there but as long as i can back away the 10 degrees gun depression will help me no end and you know the reload and the penetration and the damage is going to cause me no problems dealing with these tanks and i can farm damage till my little heart is content and i do because that's the glorious thing about the Jackson. Keep it away from the big boys and you'll have some really good fun in it. Put this too close to anything, you're back in the garage, guys. It is an interesting tank. Like I said, it's not one of my favourites. I'm not a big fan of the Jackson myself uh, because it doesn't suit my gameplay. I, I don't like languishing in the rear so to speak you know i like to be up there I, I that's why i like playing heavies i like to be on the front line smacking stuff but you know this will suit a lot of people's game styles and it's very nice at cleaning up and as you can see here i mean we're just going around and we're just tidying up the battlefield and we do so far 2181 damage we're probably not going to get to that last tank no we don't we do a fair amount of damage and that's what you can do in this thing you can have some good fun now it's not always about farming damage and sitting at the back camping and as i'm going to show you here i am going to start off camping i'm going to start off sitting at the back but look at how accurate this gun is i mean the gun is nice and that is its most redeeming feature it is a beautiful gun guys it is very accurate it will not struggle to pen and okay you're only dishing out 200 odd damage but it's 200 odd damage in like five seconds i mean that is a nice amount of damage i mean you've got dpm okay it's not the best dpm in the game i agree but it's the fifth best and there are 11 other tds at this tier so you're getting you know quite a good tank just above average for the tier and as you can see there i mean i have no problems penning that kv1s none whatsoever and that was front on look at this boom okay i'm, I'm using pramo now but i'm not running calibrated showers so i'm not getting that extra bump from the pramo i, I i'm just using it as standard what i am getting is that extra reload time and that's what you need in this thing you need to turn this thing into a dpm monster and if you're gonna go up close and personal you need to make sure that you can out dpm whatever you are going up close and personal with so what i'm gonna do now i'm playing i'm purposely playing this tank aggressively now uh, there's a kv3 i am gonna go up there and i'm gonna try my hardest to brawl with him now I've got a full hit point. He's down to next to nothing. I bounced the first one. But not to worry. He's now just 
over half his HP left. I track him. I'm going to try and get round him. And I'm trying, I'm, I'm, all I'm going to do now is try to out DPM him. I bounce him again because the KV3 is pretty, pretty trolly. And as you can see, my hit points are just being wattled down. But you don't, I, I do not recommend you do this in a Jackson. Do not brawl with a KV. Wow, I get a bounce and I get a 400 bounce. I mean, that's just outrageous. So I'm just going to now DPM it, out DPM him now. I mean, I. Uh, do not do this guys i do not recommend you do this because nine times out of ten you will come off worse in that particular instance i didn't come off worse but i now make a mistake you know i forget that uh, i can smack the e25 but the wz has actually got quite good gun elevation and he smacks me and i go but i get a second class and i was you know top tank in that game now if you want to you can camp in this thing and here we go i'm going to show you what you can do when you camp so this is castilla i'm up on the hill and i'm just going to farm damage till my heart is content the camo profile on this thing is pretty nice so i am going to stay and remain unspotted for a majority of this game if not all of this game and look at that I, I'm, I'm just farming he has no idea where i am i'm just going to keep farming oh he drops off the map what a damn shame but not to worry oh i can't shoot him not to worry i can move along into this little bit here just stick my turret out a little bit no they're still not presenting i've already done 1500 damage i'm just gonna farm away and that's what you can do in a jackson and, you know, I'm not saying that every game you should just sit there, camp and farm. But look how good the gun is. And as I say, I'm, I'm using this with the refined gun. So I'm getting that extra dispersion. I'm not losing that power over a great deal of uh, over the distance. And I'm just able to take as much as I want from this SU-100 poor little sod. And, you know, I've done 2,400 damage now. And I'm probably going to take him. Uh, goodbye. Oh no, I miss. Oh my god. No. Maybe I can get a kill. Maybe, 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 maybe. Yeah, there we go. So 2,000, just shy of 2,500 damage. Was not spotted the entire game. Camped to my heart's content. But I'd only get a second class. This is me in the last game. And I played this first thing this morning. And I've been putting this video off for so long. Because, like I said, it's not my favourite tank. But look at this gun. I mean, I cannot overemphasise how great the gun is. It is the best thing in this tank. The thing that does let it down, as I keep saying, is the armour. You've really got to play this tank carefully. You've got to understand you have zero Oh, Look at that. I mean, what a shot that was. It, it, this is what you can do in this thing. You can pull off shots like that. Okay, the turret reverse is a tad slow. But you can pull off some fantastic shots. And, you know, you're doing just over 200 damage. I'm just going to use AP all the way through here. And I just love this gun. And, okay... Like I said, if you look at that, he, I mean, he knocks me for almost 400. I lose almost half my hit points with one go. Uh, and, and this is the danger that you have in a Jackson. Because every man in his dog, as I say, is going to pen you. You've got to be very careful. You've got to give it a little bit of TLC. And you've got to make sure... Um, oh, I track him. Such a nightmare. And you've got to make sure that, you know, you've got... So ample cover nearby that you can get to. Look at that, another uncharacteristic bounce. 640. Wow. Now I'm going to smack him in the lower plate. And, and this is the thing. I mean, look at the DPM on this thing. I mean, he hasn't got a hope and house chance. There goes an SU-152. So we've done just over a thousand damage. We've taken a tank out and a pretty formidable tank at that. The odds are against us here. It's four against three. One of the three on our team, however, is a smasher, and he's playing pretty well. This MT25, I don't, I have no clue why he hasn't bothered to focus me, but he's not. He's more concerned with the smasher. That gives me the opportunity to just plow shots into him, um, because the gun is so accurate. Although that one wasn't such an accurate shot, 
you can do this and you can really really get away with it it's now two against three we're still hard pressed there's a crummy oh miss him completely and there's an 87 on almost full hp the smash it is on next to nothing i'm able to now plow shots into the at and this is the thing i mean the penetration on this gun is just beautiful i you know okay he's gonna knock me for 170 every now and then but i'm gonna knock him for 200 every now and then it's a fair trade here comes the crummy he's after the smasher i'm after the crummy he's gone it's now two against two there goes the mt25 he was going to be no problems to the smasher to be honest with you i've done 2235 damage i can admit i'm not setting the world on fire but i'm having fun i've got 147 hit points left which means i am a one shot to that at i've got the smasher which is more than a one shot to the at i think we're in a good position i know the at is around here somewhere oh he's moved where could he have moved to so i'm a bit cautious now i i know he's here somewhere and i get lucky here he's moved to get behind the smasher there he is hello get the gun round boom 2300 sorry 2500 uh damage we got a lovely first class and a shed load of ribbons and stuff and in my opinion that's how you should be looking to play this particular tank don't just sit at the back you can and you've seen that's effective but use its mobility and use the gun to the maximum effect because that is what it's there for anyway that has been the long-awaited m36 jackson i've been fujit by all means comment and like and everything below if you want to please send me some replays usual email address fujitsblitz at gmail.com and don't forget to press that subscribe button it's a nice thing to do puts a smile on my face and of course it makes me happy before i go i just want to remind everybody that this weekend saturday and sunday myself and every good name is taking is going to do a 24-hour live stream event so jump on board you can get more details at the end of this video and until the next time guys stay safe out there have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking because you know what that is what it's all about having fun and being happy